Welcome to this short introduction video for our new Bluetouch system. To go to the pattern editor push the hamburger button and go to the pattern editor symbol and push button. To start a new pattern, push file button. Now we can start a new pattern. Open an existing pattern. Save the pattern. Send the pattern to the machine or retrieving the pattern from the machine. We will start a new pattern. We will come to this page. If the machine is a Dobby or a Smart Shed, the pattern and color will already be selected. In case of a cam box only color will be selected. In this case color and pattern are joined together as one group. We can split this up by click, drag and drop to create a new group. You can group every selection in one group or in several separate groups. If there are selections you don't need we can, click, drag and drop the selection to the not used bin. We going to start with only, Dobby and color joined together. Next we will configure the pattern. Go to pattern selection and press arrow. Here we can give in the number of frames used. Maximum colors used, color visualization, and if we use multi-pick insertion. Once done we can push continue button. On the right hand side we will find several buttons. Button to switch from function button to number pad. Lock or unlock function buttons. Switch to WPS table button. Go to line button. Zoom in button. Zoom out button. Add a line button. Delete a line button. Basic Patterns, Plain, Twiller Satin Weaves. Copy Button. Mirror Selection Vertical Button. Mirror Selection Horizontal Button. Invert Selection Button. Clear Selection Button. Convert Selection to a Loop Button. Undo Button. And Redo Button. We will now start to give in the wished pattern. Select line 1. Go to the add line button and press. Given how many line you want to add. Here you can give in the line number where you want to add lines. With this button we can select where we going to add lines, above or under the selected line. Push Confirm button. Now we will give in the pattern and color. If you want to erase all content, select a line, click and drag the selection box to where you want to go and push the clear button. You can give in basic patterns. Select the range where you want to fill in a basic pattern. Go to the basic pattern button and press. Select the required pattern. Push confirm button. You can shift the pattern in frame and pick position. Check if the pattern will be on the correct place, meaning frame and pick position. In this case from frame 1 to 6, and pick 1 to 3. Push confirm button. Fill in the colors. To use sub patterns. Go to the position where you want to enter a sub pattern. Go to the insert line button and press. Go to the row button and press, select sub pattern. Push on the plus sign. You can give the sub pattern a name.
Select where you want to insert the sub pattern, above or under the selected line. Push Confirm button. Go to the main button and press. Select required sub pattern. Make the sub pattern. Go back to the main pattern. Fill in how many times the sub pattern has to be woven. Instead of using sub patterns you can use loops. To use loop do the following. Select line where you want to loop. Go to the insert button and press. Go to row button and select loop. Given how many lines the loop should contain. Check if the loop is on the right place. Given where the loop should be inserted, above or under the selected line. Push confirm button. Now you can give in the pattern and color. Note that if you use loops you must remake or copy every loop. With sub pattern you can insert the same sub pattern multiple times. Given how many times this loop should be repeated. You can convert a pattern to a loop. Go to convert button and press. Select start and end line of the loop. Given how many times the loop must be repeated and press continue button. To undo an action, press undo button. If you need a WPS pattern do the following. Go to pattern configuration. In the pattern selection add the pick and speed then if needed cramming to the selection. Press confirm button. Go to the WPS table button and press button to fill in the table. Fill in the pick densities and speeds in the table. Fill in the pick density and speed columns. Now we can save or send the pattern to the machine. If we save the pattern, we can save it to the display, server or USB stick. You can give the pattern a name and save it. Push continue button. To send the pattern to the machine go to File and select Send to Machine. Push Confirm button. After transfer is finished push Continue button. To edit or transfer existing patterns go to File button. Select Open File, select the required pattern, and push Confirm button. Now you can edit or transfer it to the machine. Questions or remarks? Please contact us.